this short demo, I'm going to show you how to get started with a new decision in Sparkling Logic Smarts Decision Manager. Smarts is a cloud-based business rules and analytics platform, and once I log into Smarts, I can start defining my decision without any support from IT. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to get started with a new project. First, I'll import some data, then I'll add a few new fields for my decision results. Next, I'll add a computation and write a few rules. Finally, I'll execute and test my rules, and I'll finish by creating a simple report. The scenario for the demo is an online auto insurance quote. As a business analyst working for an auto insurance carrier, I've been tasked with defining a decision to provide a quote for premiums when an applicant applies for an online quote. Let's get started. So I've logged into SMARTS and I'm starting with an empty project. I can see that I don't have any decisions currently defined. And I could start by defining a decision, but instead I'm going to import some data. One of the unique things about SMARTS is you can actually start by importing data. The data that I'm going to be importing is some insurance applications. When I import the data, I'm given a dialog where I can customize the import, changing the names of the fields, their data types, or their counts. I'm just going to accept the defaults. I'm given a message that tells me the import was successful, and then I can open my data. So you can see that I've imported 100 applications, and I'm able to scroll through each of the applications and look at the specific data. So I might want to get started by defining a place to put the outputs from my decision. So I'm going to add a new section and I'm going to call it Decision Outcome. And in my Decision Outcome section, I'm going to add a field called Status where I can keep track of the status of an application, whether it's approved, denied, or referred. And I'll add another field called message where I can keep track of the reason for the decision. So SMARTS creates a default decision flow for me with an initial placeholder decision step. The first thing I'm going to do in processing these applications is check to see that the applicant is eligible for coverage. So I'm going to add a new decision step called check eligibility. And once I've done that, I'm ready to start writing my rules. The rules I'm going to be writing are going to be to check to make sure an applicant is eligible. So I might want to, by default, say that all of my applicants are going to be approved. So the first thing I'm going to do is set a default value for my status and my message. So for status, let's set that by default to approved and my message will just be you're approved. Now that I've set my default, I'm ready to start writing rules. So the first rule I'm going to write is to check for applicants who are too young. In this case, we won't cover any applicants under the age of 18. I'll name the rule too young. And I can start by writing my condition, so I want to find applicants whose age is less than 18. And I can see that age is currently not recognized. It's not defined. So if I look in my data, I can see that for the primary driver, I have the date of birth, but I don't have any field currently called age. So I could write the rule around date of birth, but instead, let's add a computation to compute age from the date of birth. And I'm going to tell SMARTS that this field is an integer, and then I'm going to add a formula here to compute the age from the date of birth. So I'll take the current date, or rather the year of the current date, 
and I'll subtract the date of birth year. Once I define age, you can see that the error goes away. Now, as I'm writing rules, you can see that SMARTS is highlighting these fields that I'm using in my rules. So one of the things that's happening here is I'm able to look at my data and immediately see those fields used in rules. Those that are inputs to the decision are highlighted in orange, and those that are outputs are highlighted in blue. So let's finish the rule here. And if the applicant is under the age of 18, then their status is going to be denied. And the message will be too young. OK, so I finished writing that rule. Now let's write another rule for risky drivers who have more than five accidents. Because we may not cover them, they may need a special high-risk insurance. So to write this rule, I'm going to copy my existing rule. And rather than call this rule too young, I'm going to call it too risky. And in this case, what I'm going to be looking for is drivers with more than five accidents. So where the number of accidents is greater than five. And again, we're going to deny that this time we'll give a message that simply says too risky. And then I'm ready to execute. So when I execute my rules, I can immediately see that this particular applicant was approved and that neither one of the rules executed on the current document that I'm looking at. But the heat map on the rules tells me that the too young rule executed two times out of my data sample of 100 applicants and the too risky rule executed 14 times. If I want to see those particular applicants that were too risky, I can click on the heat map and filter to those specific applicants. So I can see this first applicant uh, was, has six accidents, they were denied, and too risky. And I can continue to scroll through to look at each one of those risky drivers. The green indicator tells me that the rule executed on the current document that I'm looking at. So the last thing I'm going to do is define a report. I can simply drag my status field to the dashboard, and immediately I can see that out of my 100 applicants, 84 have been approved and 16 have been denied. So what you've seen in the demo is that as a business analyst, I'm able to write and test my decisions in SMARTS without support from IT. I'm able to add new fields to my data and I can even add computed fields, and I can immediately use those fields in rules. SMARTS gives me information to help me understand that the rule is executing as I expect because data is loaded into the environment, and I can explore which cases a particular rule applied to. SMARTS is particularly effective for working with agile methodologies where executing business rules have to be delivered for each iteration or sprint.